Welcome to Morning Inspiration with just Joycelyn. If this is your first time joining me here on my channel, welcome. <laughs> the way it works is God gives me inspiration through scripture. I share that inspiration with you. And my hopes is that we can encourage one another as we go through this thing called life. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. And if you would, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also hit that notification bell so that you can see every time that I post. All right, so let's go into God's word. Today we are looking at Psalm 8 verses 3 through 7 and it says this when I consider the heavens the work of your fingers the moon and the stars which you have put into place what is man that you are mindful of them human beings that you care for them you have made them a little lower than the angels and crowned them with glory and honor you made them rulers over the works of your hands you put everything under their feet all flocks and herds and animals of the wild. Mm. Amen. Amen. And y'all, when I was reading this, I was like, man, God has put a lot. He has put a lot in the hands of human beings. Um, when I was thinking about this, the writer goes on and it talks about the heavens and the mountains and the, and, and the moons and the stars and all the amazing things that God has created. And then when you look at human beings, he's like, God, you know, what are we that you even think about us? What are we that you take that extra special time with us? And the biggest thing that stepped out to me is purpose. God has given every person on this earth purpose. And it was not by coincidence but he has a specific plan and purpose for us. And so on today, um, I'm going to encourage everybody and encourage myself to continue to live out your purpose. No matter what happens, no matter what happens with the government or no matter what happens um, uh, just in our world, continue to live out the purpose that God has for you. Whatever that may be, whatever he has put in front of you in your scope, live out that purpose and live it out boldly amen amen god we thank you so much for the purpose that you've given unto us lord god god you have created us you've made us a little lower than the angels lord god and so god we thank you for the strength and the power that you've given unto us lord god we thank you lord god that you have put works in our hands to do lord god and so god i pray lord god that you Put our feet to the pavement, Lord God, that we use this 24 hours a day that you've given us, Lord God, to give you glory, Lord God, and to make sure that your will for our lives uh, comes to play, Lord God. God, we pray, God, that you get glory out of us, Lord God. Help us to live our lives, Lord God, in such a way, Lord God, that we work according to your plan. God, at this time, I pray for my brothers and sisters who do not know you. I pray that they would receive that the only thing that they need to do is to pray that Romans 10 and 9 prayer, which says, if I confess with my mouth and believe in my heart that Jesus Christ died on the cross for my sins, I am saved. And I'm so happy to welcome you into the family of Christ. And if you are somebody who right now you're just not sure, you're still searching, please know that Jesus Christ is standing there with his arms open, ready to receive you. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. Amen. So have an amazing day on today. Know that you have purpose. I don't care what you're going through, what people have said about you or, or how you might even feel about yourself. You know, I understand. <laughs> uh, please know that God has purposed you to do amazing things and specifically things that go along with his plans. So be blessed today and I will see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye.